Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you've not already done so, hit that subscribe button and come back and check out our content often. In today's video, I want to show you an online tool that helps you configure NetFlow the easy way. This is a cross-platform tool, very Cisco heavy of course, but I uh, found it very useful when experimenting with NetFlow. What you're going to want to do is jump into a web browser, go to configurenetflow.info, and you'll be greeted with a screen that looks something like this. You see there is a platform drop-down. You can select from a number of different platforms, uh, Catalyst, ASR, CSR, which is a cloud service router. There's an ISR, the, uh, your typical uh, Cisco router, uh, Nexus, ASA firewalls, firepower, uh, checkpoint, so outside of the Cisco family, Fortinet, um, you know, Meraki, Riverbed, even other uh, endpoints. I'm not even sure what that is, to be honest. So with this, what you can do is select your platform. I'm going to just pick, um, let's pick Catalyst. Select and continue. You get the model specifically uh, of that platform. I'm actually going to pick the 9000 series, uh, Cisco's latest. I actually have some other videos on the Cat 9K family of switches, so be sure to check those out. Uh, you can select that and continue. And then there is the submodel option. Again, select and continue. Uh, ETA status. So this is encrypted threat analytics. Uh, encrypted threat analytics uses NetFlow sent to StealthWatch and uh, that's how the data is analyzed to know if there are encrypted threats moving around the network uh, is through the actual NetFlow data. So uh, you can actually enable or, or disable that. I'm actually going to, let's do enable, why not? Uh, and then you can click select and continue. Uh, and then finally, um, you know, show me the flow config. Now this screen, you can see there are a number of considerations, some different version, uh, you know, dependencies and things of that nature. There are documents here. So if you're like, eh, I'm not 100% sure this is the right config, you can dive into the documents to verify. Um, down here, the flow record is defined. So this is a actual config, the flow record, uh, you give it a description, match your protocols, match uh, transport information, uh, and then define the specific information that you want to collect. There is a flow exporter. This is how the data is sent. So the actual um, you know, NetFlow collector is built here. And then there's the flow monitor, and this is what you then assign to uh, you know, interfaces on the platform to do the collection. Uh, there's a little bit more info here. Here's how you put that flow, uh, flow monitor on the, in on the interface. So layer three interface. Uh, here's the, remember that encrypted thread analytics? Here's that option. A couple other items, how you can enable it on the interface. So uh, yeah, there is all of your configuration information. You can actually come down here if you want to even get more specifically and or more specific and have this information added to the config. You can fill it out here, and uh, you know have it generate the flow config for you. Let's press that button and see what what happens. Here you get uh, yeah here you get the config all built out right. So the uh, details are filled in, whereas above it was just a template. Right, so here was an interface template. It just says interface as a placeholder. Uh, you can fill in the details and actually get that config dumped out for you. So uh, anyway, feel free to check this out. The link to it is actually in the video description. I want to know what you think. Uh, if you use this tool, if you have a good experience with it, let me know. This is actually not a tool of mine. This is uh, someone else's. Actually, I think the maintainer has his name on it here. Yep, he has name here as well as his email. Um, so, if you have any questions or comments you want to leave or start a discussion in this uh, in the comment section, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this has been helpful, and we hope to see you again soon.